Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'd like to talk about heat transfer. So I'm putting together a series of videos discussing partial differential equations and we're at the point where we need to discuss one of the big PDEs, namely the heat equation, which governs how a distribution of heat in a body evolves with time. To set the stage for this, instead of drawing a bunch of abstract diagrams on the whiteboard, I'd like to do a demonstration of heat transfer in a body using a real system. So the body I'm using in this case is this metal crowbar here. And the region that I'm interested in is the part of the crowbar that's set up between these two glass bottles. So let's just go ahead and set the bar down like such. Okay. So we're going to see later here that the rate of the heat transfer is related to the gradients of the temperature distribution. So in other words, if we can introduce some drastic temperature variations throughout the bar, the heat should transfer faster. So the situation I'd like to investigate here is one where we impose some kind of initial temperature distribution and then observe how the temperature transfer transfers throughout the bar. Now, um, unfortunately, I don't have any uh, fancy thermocouples or temperature sensors that I can use to measure the temperature as a function of time. Instead, I've got a couple of uh, homemade temperature indicators here. You can see that these are just little sticks of butter that uh, I've attached uh, the heads of the arch enemies of the Super Mario Brothers to the top of them here. So we got Bowser, Wa Wario, and Waluigi here. So. What I'd like to do is let's just go ahead and place these on the bar here at various locations. So I don't know, maybe I'll put Bowser right there. Let's put Wario a little bit further down the bar here. And then we can go ahead and stick Waluigi at this far end. There we go. So these are going to be our little temperature indicators here. Now, to introduce a temperature gradient, why don't we go ahead and use this 2000 degrees Celsius map gas torch here? Um, maybe before I do that, I better put on some safety goggles. And let's just go ahead and start heating up this bar. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, warm up the bar. Before I do that here, it's going to be a little hard to hear over the, uh, the noise of the torch here, but one thing to notice is that when we're actually uh, heating up the bar, we are introducing or adding heat to the body, which is really actually not the scenario we want to demonstrate. Recall that we want to demonstrate how the heat transfers throughout the body only due to a initial temperature distribution, not due to heat being generated within the body, which is effectively what this torch is gonna do. So what we're gonna do here is let's just go ahead and I wanna use this torch because I think it's the easiest and fastest way to introduce a temperature variation through the bar. Um, and my wife is actually at work right now, so hopefully I'll be able to get away with using this inside the house as long as none of you share this video with her. So let's go and heat this thing up introduce this initial temperature distribution, and then stop and start the experiment to watch how the heat transfers. So here we go. Oh, okay, there we go. I think, uh-oh, oh, there it goes. Okay, so all right, we stopped and we just lost Unfortunately, one of the guys here. So why don't we go ahead and start, hit start on the um, stopwatch here to kick off the experiment here. And as you can see, we already lost Bowser. So heat has now transferred through and has gone ahead and um, made one of our little guys fall down here. And what's going on right now is this end of the bar should be super hot and this end is actually still just kind of uh, room temperature here. But since we have a large thermal gradient in this region, heat should now be transferring down the bar. And in fact, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Maybe we can see this a little bit better now. I hope. Let's see here. Maybe let's uh, come over here and zoom in on our guys. And let me turn the camera a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now if we give this a few seconds, hopefully the heat is going to transfer down the bar here and melt these other two guys. So let's see, let me, let me just touch the bar over here. See how this is feeling here. 
Oh, it's actually not that hot. Okay, so maybe what we need to do is actually... Oh! Hot! Hot! That part's hot. Oh, okay, and here we go. There goes one of them. There we go. All right, so there's one. And now this unfortunately is probably gonna take a really long time for the rest of this to keep going. Well, there we go, and the last one went over. All right, so hopefully this demonstrated how heat is transferred throughout a body simply due to gradients in the thermal temperature distribution. So if you want to take a look at a few more downstream, downstream steps and look at how to mathematically model this scenario as a partial differential equation, as well as solve the associated equation, please check out the uh, videos in the description below. So. With that being said, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please subscribe to the channel because we should have lots more videos related to uh, physics demonstrations as well as math uh, derivations here and associated modeling. So um, with that being said, I hope to catch you at one of the future videos. Bye.